Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm a digital media expert. And today I'm gonna to show you how to put in metadata into your sound booth files. So let's go ahead and hop on the computer here. I already have sound booth fired up. So what you're gonna to need to do is import the file that you wanna put metadata into. So let's go to file, let's go to open, and I'm going to locate this MP3 file here. All right, and then I'm going to hit open. All right, so that'll take just a second, depending on how long the file is, how big it is, it'll take a second for our sound booth to process the file. But once that is in there, let's go ahead and head to the top here. And we're gonna go to window and we're going to open up our metadata window. How convenient. All right, and that's gonna show up on the right hand side here, but we wanna focus on dynamic media here. So if I, let's open this up just a little bit more. I think that's good. And let's do the bottom too. All right, perfect. So we have a lot of options here for our dynamic media, which is our metadata. So if I scroll down, we have what's normal, which is artist name, the album name, the genre, release date. Um, but it even gets down to release date, composer, engineer, tempo of the song, instrument. Um, that's what's really great about Sound Booth is it gets really in depth with what kind of metadata uh, versus like iTunes. iTunes just does the regular artist name and album name and so on and so on, but it doesn't go quite in depth with, uh, with things like Sound Booth can. But that's pretty much it, guys. So you can just type it all in and then just hit save. But there you guys go. If you do have any other questions, please let us know and thank you for watching.